hello friends welcome to the video lecture series on redis so in this tutorial we are going to see about how to install the redis database installation on a linux ubuntu so let's start it if you have want to install the linux uh, on the top of linux this redis database then we have a total two different choice either you can download the whole source code in this way and then you can compile it locally and it will create the binary and you can install it on your linux system there is a one more option on your ubuntu system also available like you can directly use this uh, app get functionality and install redis server like this because it is by default pre configured right now i have already installed this redis server so it is saying that redis server is already installed and it has a newest version available on my machine so this is one of the command you can use it for your redis installation and another one way you can use it like compiling source code so let's see how we can go with compiling source code this thing so on a redis site it is already given in a quick start uh, page how we can go ahead so first one is the wget and they have given us uh, this url so it will just download the complete source code in a tar.gz file so let's just download it okay so it has started downloading after that we will uh, extract it with tar dot xvzf command so it will just extract it okay it has downloaded it is just costing around 1.5 megabytes okay so it has successfully created the extracted file and we have everything available in redis stable folder so if you see this redis stable folder whole source codes are available after that they are telling to use this make command so it will actually compile the full source code it will take little time and it will create the binary for us after it will create the binary we'll just move this binary to the proper location and sudo make install command will work for us in that case okay it's still running yeah still going on okay it has successfully compiled us no error till now so we can directly use this sudo make install which will do nothing but it will just copy your generated binary through this after this compilation of this source code of this redis database to the proper location in a linux so that while running the redis server we can easily use it okay so it has just copied it so we have successfully installed the redis server now how we can check it that redis server is installed let's go to another cell and let's just start redis before that i want to show you that how many of the uh, executable uh, starting file this redis has created in user local bin okay so after installation redis has created almost this many startup file for us the first one is a redis server so if you want to start this redis server you can use this redis server after that a redis benchmark is there uh, redis cli redis cli is nothing but uh, you want to connect your very thin client to the uh, redis server you can use it and there are other also for the performance uh, related stuff and whether server is running or not you want to check for different different purpose there are a lot of other commands are there let's just start this uh, redis server first of all 
and let's see whether we have successfully in installed or not redis server okay so uh, it is giving indication that uh, redis is running on this 3.2.5 version 64 bit its port number is 6379 so on the 6379 port it's running and the process id is 8994 so our redis server is successfully running this is the logo of this uh, redis uh, redis lab actually redis lab now how we can uh, fire the query to the uh, redis so we can use this redis cli command let's uh, go to another window and uh, let's fire this uh, redis cli so it will create uh, pop up the small command line for us okay so it is saying that uh, we are listening on this local host 127 0.0.1 .0 .0 this is local host and on the port 6379 redis is running now you start firing command and this is the server which will start accepting the command so very uh, first uh, ping command is available which will tell us which will tell whether server is connected to the client or not so it has written as pong that means server is uh, running so uh, we have successfully uh, created this uh, redis server installation and uh, uh, redis client so in the next tutorial we are going to see about uh, how we can store this key value storage data uh, set how we can retrieve what are the different command we can use to storage purpose uh, in a redis data set so thank you guys for the watching i hope you enjoy listening this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please please do subscribe it now